All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be attaching fly line to backing. For demonstration purposes, white's going to be our fly line, orange is going to be our backing, and then I'll show you with actual fly line and backing. First thing we're going to do is double over our fly line. Next step is take our backing, give it some extra line. We're going to take all three strands, backing and double over fly line in one hand. Then we're going to take the tag end of our backing and start barrel wrapping up. Generally, I like to do eight to 10 wraps, but just for demonstration purposes with this paracord, I'm only gonna do a couple. An important step of this knot is putting this tag in the same way that your backing is coming into the knot. With your other hand, grab both of these and start cinching it down. An important step of this knot is really making sure that your backing is all the way up on the fly line. This creates a really smooth bump. Making sure all those barrel wraps are nice and even. You could really cinch down and that's going to be the done knot. You could just trim that and that's super strong. And now let's jump into showing you with actual fly line and backing. All right guys, now that we have our fly line and backing, white being our fly line, orange being our backing, we're going to fold over our fly line, pinching it just a little bit. We're going to take our backing and lay it over the fly line. And in our right hand, we're going to grab all three of those lines together, forming a loop. And with the tag end of our backing, we're going to wrap forward toward the tip of the loop eight to ten times. And then we're going to put it through the loop with the tag end of our backing. Then we're going to slowly start to cinch down. Before you really get to cinch down, just slide this knot while pulling both lines to the very end of our fly line, making sure it's as close as we can without falling off. Then we're going to start to really cinch down on this knot, pulling both lines. nice and tight. You could even open this up just a little bit and pull the backing. After that, that's basically the done knot. We're going to take our scissors and trim this as close as we can. We're going to come in here and trim the backing as close as we can. And that's basically the done knot. I like to add some glue, not for strength, just because it makes it a lot smoother going through the guides. This is a much better alternative than the nail knot. It's much stronger. It's probably slimmer. Hey guys, Mike here. I just wanted to say thank you for tuning into today's video. I hope you learned something. If you want to see more content like this, head on over to our channel to learn more about fly fishing, and we hope to see you out on the water.